Today I'm going to take you through my top 15 tools that I use on set. The first one, the walkie caddy. This thing, it hooks right to your walkie talkie. You're able to put Sharpies, you're able to put mat knives, you're able to put China markers, all these different things so nice in here, and also a flashlight and my laser pointer, which I'm always putting in my pocket and then all of a sudden I'm burning a hole in my pocket with my very powerful laser. So I put this on my side with my walkie talkie so I'm, I'm quick on the draw. The next thing is this Tiffin. It's got two rotopolas in here. So I'm able to uh, be able to look at the sun and gauge if it's coming out of the cloud so I can tell the first AD, all right, we're going in 15 seconds, you know, so I can keep the light consistent. Or if we're planning on shooting in the clouds, I'm all right, we're going to go into the clouds in 30 seconds. Roll cameras. So this is something that enables me to, you know, be very accurate in those timings. As well, I can look right into an HMI, see if it's spot or flood. You immediately know if the source is very specular and small, then it's full flood. If the whole Fresnel is lit up, then you know it's full spot. The next is my ClearCom FreeSpeak 2. This is an absolutely essential tool to communicate with all your team. I do a lot of dual operating. So I have, I'm operating the wheels and I have somebody on the Ronin with the anti-gravity rig out there moving. So we gotta be all in sync. And I'm able to talk to my focus pullers, telling them when to rack focus, pan left on the operators. Everything is dialed in. And I love wearing this dorky headset because it sounds the best. I also have security ones, but I like the dorky McDonald's headset. Next, I do so much filtration on my Red Gemini where I'm using diffusion filters and everything. So I have come to have my Bright Tangerine Misfit Atom as an essential part of my uh, creative process. I'm able to take the filters. It's got its own built-in ARF. It can hold up to two. I've even packed three filters in this baby and I'm able to angle it so I don't get any reflections and it's got a beautiful lightweight eyebrow and I even took some Coroplast, put it on the side so I can put all my stickers on there for uh, when I'm using uh, all my filters so everyone knows what's actually on the front of the lens. The reason I like this one is because I can hear very well. When I put that security one inside the surveillance inside my ear, it, uh, a lot of times I cannot hear correctly. So I like the over the ear. Alien tape. Why is a director of photography bringing this on set? Well, this is the new age of sticking things everywhere because so much is battery powered now. I like to hide lights behind doors and you can do it very quickly with this tape. It's reusable, it sticks, pulls right off the walls, leaves no marks. My package here goes from a 16th, which I'm using on my, like my Ajinoo zooms. You know, if I'm going into the 290, I'll put a 16th or an 8th on, all the way up to a 9, which I do on an 8 millimeter. So I have consistent, you know, diffusion across all millimeters. It's my natural NDs that are full spectrum and they take all the IR pollution off of the sensor and it's consistent from one stop all the way to 10. So it's, it's amazing. No color shift whatsoever. These always come with me. These have become my go-to for under cabinet lights, in cars, dashboard, back seat, little accent lights. They're in the background over here. These things, they're RGB white, so I'm able to do full spectrum at 95 to 96 CRI. They're incredibly lightweight and they're magnetic. So you, you can stick them to anything that's metal. And it comes with this really nice little charging station that's all dialed in with its accoutrements. The Camelback. 
This thing has saved my life about 20 times. The first time was on Active Valor. We were out in the Costa Rican rainforest and we had been shooting for hours and hours and there wasn't any water around. Sometimes you get yourself out in the jungle. This holds one and a half gallons of water and it has all these little nifty pouches and areas to put specific things, sunscreen, chapstick, whatever you want. So this is a lifesaver. I always have this for operating handheld. Remember, I don't operate like this. I operate like this on each side of the mat box. So I'm, this is how I'm holding it and operating the camera. These angle at every which way you're able to, you know, rotate this up, down, sideways. It's very adjustable and it fits any camera. Lettuce 35 memory foam shoulder pad. It's a wedge. So it fits on your shoulder just like this. So it makes it nice and level and it's really nice and soft and beautiful leather. So it conforms to your body very nicely. And if these things go bad, you can get replacements for them. These are Neos. They slip right over your boot and they're waterproof up to 12 inches and they're incredibly lightweight. When I'm doing, you know, jobs in the forest and woods and rain and all that type of thing, and snow keeps you very warm because it's like a second layer and they're all Gore-Tex. These Arteric gloves are incredible. It's one of the best investments I've ever made. When you're operating, the worst thing that can happen in the rain is for you to be holding the camera and the water is just coming down and right down into your hands and your gloves and just gets, I mean, it makes you so cold. They're able to cinch around you. It's got a hard shell in here. It's super soft. So they not only are waterproof, but they have a ton of uh, polar fleece in there to keep you really warm in low temperatures. Of course, my Tilly hat. This thing is all about keeping you out of the cancer center. Okay. I, I love this because it's a very wide brim. I wear it all the time. It also keeps you so cool because when that sun is beating down on you, this really keeps you really cool and you're not so dehydrated. The other thing I love about this is it's airflow. So you're able to not sweat in it so much and it's just a great tool. My nano puff from Patagonia. You can pack up into the smallest little, I put it in my uh, rolling bag and then I'm immediately out if I'm going from Los Angeles to like Vermont, like I did a couple of weeks ago, I'm able to just pull this out and uh, quickly adapt to whatever the temperature's in, slide some gloves on and I'm able to walk to my rental car without freezing my butt off. The Arteric Gold rain jacket. It is the best investment I've made for personal gear. This will sheet rain no matter what. So many of those rain jackets you buy after one or two wears, they are, they're not beating water anymore. This just continues to beat water. It's four years old and it looks super new and super sexy and it's been through the ringer. And you also have to have the pants that go along with it. It's got tons of cooling vents, so it enables you to breathe, as well as really, really hard fabric here. So as you walk, this is the area that always rubs, and that's what's always gonna break down the Gore-Tex. So they do this, so it really protects it. Again, an incredible investment. And those are my top 15 tools for on set.